Hey guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another ROM and a flash review for the Samsung Captivate. Alright, today we have Darkies JV4 R4 ROM. Let's get going. Okay, so this, as I just said, is the R4 ROM from the Darky Crew. It's been ported by Ricky SA2000 and uh, Facetto and Facito. I don't really know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry about that. But uh, that guy and Darky are, you know, pretty popular on the i9000 side of things for creating the Darky ROM, which has been one of the first ROMs for i9000, and it's progressed and it's been ported. To, ca to captivate, and that's that's kind of the cool uh, Sam style uh, voice uh, that that talks about Welcome to Darkies ROM Captivate Edition. So it's kind of cool that they've integrated some noise into that as well, other than the typical file that Samsung includes. Out of the box, only uh, shows up with one uh, lock screen, two launchers to pick from: standard Gingerbread Launcher and TouchWiz Launcher. We all know what those look like. I'm gonna go with TouchWiz Launcher for my default, and. Um, out of the box, I went ahead and picked the uh, mountain uh, wallpapers. I installed this with all options. It is slightly tricky to install. Uh, pretty much you just use Odin to flash the original Facetto, Facetto, uh, Ficetto, I don't know how to pronounce that, F-I-C-E-T-O. You install his ROM, the JVP build, with Odin and use the Darky ROM APK to install this with specific option sets and it's all instructed in Ricky SA2000's thread. I actually may make a video over that as there are a lot of steps and I'd like to help you guys out in flashing this. So anyways, um, TouchWiz is the launcher I picked. Obvious horizontal based scrolling. Uh, no overlap support on this particular TouchWiz. Um, you can do the list view and a lot of other things as well, as we all know, with typical TouchWiz. Let's take a look at the Darky ROM application. Now in here you can actually do a lot of things, such as the typical power options. Uh, you can flash or install a file from the SD card. If you go to the Darky ROM options, you can see exactly all the option sets that you can pick. Uh, such as install ad hoc driver, which is actually pretty cool. So that way if you needed to tether uh, from an iPhone, you would actually probably be able to do that as many of us know that iPhones use ad hoc tethering for some stupid reason. Uh, there's an uninstall button to pick any and every APK you could want. And it's quick access to a lot of common things, such as that, the install button there. Uh, so it's a pretty cool app to be honest. And it uses Clockwork Mod integration and basically takes the options you select, creates a shell script, and then it reboots you to recovery and runs that shell script. So it's very, very cool, um, you know, very innovative type of application, and I have to credit them on that. Um, typical stability is always a factor with the Darky ROMs, and I've got to say they're some of the most stable ROMs that you can find. Um, so it's a great choice if you're looking for that. Now I'm running this with the i9000 bootloaders that were installed with the JVP ROM, and my i9000 uh, custom mod for the boot screen works perfectly with that. See that video there if you're interested in flashing your custom boot screen. Um, as I mentioned though, for some reason I showed up with no lock screens. Now I'm not sure if they're hidden, but uh, you know, some users may actually be slightly annoyed that there's no lock screens to pick from and you're kind of stuck with the typical Android slide over. Now I happen to like that lock screen so it doesn't really bother me, but if you're looking for something else, uh, then you know, you may be slightly annoyed. Green accents on the settings and options menus, green accents at the top, if my camera will focus, there it is. And the uh, the battery meter is a vertical based, um, you know, volume type of um, meter to show you that. Uh, it's got a paned glass, you can hardly tell, but you can see straight through this. And it's got the green accents up top with the lettering for each option. So that's a look at the graphical view of this. Let's get to talking about some of this, uh, the way the ROM is featured. Uh, it includes the Dark Core 3.1 for the kernel, uh, JK4 modem, DODEX to everything, obviously, uh, super user, which is pre-rooted, BusyBox, OpenVPN, which is nice. Um, so those of you that look for true IPsec VPN support, uh, OpenVPN is pre-installed, and I believe it has Tune support. So that way you guys can use IPsec VPN if you're on a Cisco-based VPN system. Great for enterprise users. 
Um, it's got bash, ram hack, the percentage battery, uh, extended power menus, the over scrolls, the CRT off, and all the other typical things such as SIP over 3G and Wi Fi, a large APN list, yada yada yada, a lot, lot more. Um, some of the changes for the Captivate Edition include the modified scripts for the modem kernel install packages and pre-installed for Captivate. So basically the Darky ROM application has gotten smoother. They've removed the FM radio because as we know, we haven't cracked, uh, and we may never crack. I've heard we have hardware support, but we don't have an FM transmitter capability just yet, so that was removed. One thing I did notice when I installed this, I was getting constant force closes from my gingerbread keyboard. If you are, just go into settings, choose locale and text, select input method, change it from gingerbread keyboard to something else, and perhaps use the Darky ROM app to uninstall gingerbread keyboard and then reinstall it, because for some reason mine was force closing. Anyhow, that is a full look at the Darky V4 ROM for Captivate ported for us by Ricky SA2000. Uh, all the work is from uh, Darky and Facetto. And you can check those guys out over on the i9000 side of things. Be sure to thank them, donate to them. Be sure to donate to Ricky as well if you appreciate his work in porting this. Always a pleasure reviewing the Darky's ROMs, and I'm really excited that we have Captivate ports. For these ROMs, so be sure to check out the Captivate Download Mode Jig link in the description below, as well as our all new e store full of products and services that are now easier than ever to buy and interact with us with user accounts and a whole lot more in the back end for us to manage. So, check that out. As I mentioned in some of my other videos, I am looking for someone to review videos for me and work for the channel. Um, so if you're interested in something like that, give me a shout. Maybe we can do a little interview and see if you'd like to make some videos for us. So um, recommend us to all your friends. If they need JTAG, if they're in a hard brick situation, the jig doesn't work, we can still fix that. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, bookmark the site, mobiletechvideos.com, as well as the e-store, link in the description below. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully as a new YouTube subscriber. Thanks for watching.